Oh, pretty much as the title says. Yep, it has been a month since I have done YouTube. Now, I have been uploading, but as you'll note, I haven't been replying to comments or anything. Main question is, do I miss YouTube? Yes and no. Yes, I do miss it because I miss Pete C with his Cortina, Hubnut, Vinny on Vine Source and Rev and Joel when they make shorter streams or highlights or whatever. Uh, random load, all the scrappers, it's just, I really do miss it. But the trouble is though, I kind of don't miss it because now I can wake up perfectly knowing that, hey, it's another day, no HTML5 error screen is going to come up. That's like YouTube, I am not going to come back and start watching videos or commenting on videos until you get rid of the HTML5 error. It's as simple as that. Get rid of this stupid HTML5 Nazi Selecto vision that you have chosen on me only. Seems to be I'm the only one doing it. So why me? You know, individual. No one else seems to get a HTML5 error screen. So why just me? Seems to be a case you're doing sort of like Selecto vision. Which is kind of where basically, no, no, this is making us more money because this has got 12 adverts on it, whereas this has only got two adverts, which means we don't want you to watch that video. We want you to watch this video with 12 adverts because that gets us more money. We'll let you watch that one, or we'll let you watch that one maybe a couple of days later if we don't decide to put another HTML5 screen up. But, yeah, so... Yes, I do miss YouTube, I do miss watching stuff, but again, I don't miss it because I don't have to live in fear of the HTML5 error. Simple as that. I can quite happily, easily just basically watch YouTube, but only if I know that basically I can click on every single video and know that there's not going to be a HTML5 error. So until YouTube fixes that, I'm still not going to be commenting. I'm still not going to be watching YouTube. It's as simple as that. All they have to do is send me an email that says, Hey, Sir Mugman, we have noted your annoyance towards this error screen. We have deleted it, or we have come up with a solution to make your account um, sort of like subsvised or whatever, and have some kind of like, you know, link that basically allows me to watch something else or allows me to watch it without that. Because to be brutally honest, I kind of do wish I had Russian friends, because at least then I could ask my Russian friends to hack YouTube and basically say, right, whereabouts is the HTML5 error? Okay, delete that section. Just delete it. Don't don't sort of like don't sort of like remove it or give it a virus. Just delete it. Delete the entire thing. And again, I would quite happily take all the blame for it. Oh no, YouTube HTML5 error screen has gone. Now we can't have any control over what people watch. So, at least I can watch bloody YouTube. And I take all the blame. I'd quite happily go to jail for hacking. You know, wouldn't matter to me. Be a simple case of, yeah, great. Doesn't matter to me. I hacked YouTube and I deleted the HTML5 error screen. Now at least when I get out of jail for hacking, which is probably a... Three, maybe four years sort of like in jail because of the terms. I mean, via then YouTube will probably have a new HTML5 screen. But at least I got rid of it. At least I can officially go back and watch H watch YouTube and not bother with HTML5 error screens. But, oh well. Until then, like I say, it's a simple case of, I'm not going to be on YouTube. I haven't been on there for a month. I'm going to keep going. See you next time.